Hey guys, what is up? Olive Wall BC here. Welcome back to episode number three of my journey to Gerard. You guys can see my old team and some other players that were just in my club. I have now sold. You guys see the top left, I have 21,000 coins. I got that because I spent 40 minutes last night trying to snipe a Davinson Sanchez for 20k. I got transferred banned once, so half an hour later, come back, try for another six minutes. Six or seven minutes, get transfer banned again. So I just went to bed because this is like 4 30 a.m. Come back this morning, his max is 40k and he's still extinct. So I would have immediately made 20k profit, but I would have obviously held on to him still and sold him for more because I think he's been worth about 55 60k. It's so annoying. This transfer ban, which trying to buy a plate on the market, is the dumbest thing in this game. I know that's a big call, but it really is. Anyway, uh, you guys can see that I've saw these guys, so I made. Uh, somewhere between like 50 and 60k I think so I'll show you my new team now. So this is my new squad guys um, It's pretty good. It's obviously Premier League as you can tell I'm sure you know all the players uh, My standouts so far are King. I'm liking King and Didi. Robertson's amazing. Schmeichel's inconsistent. Some games he's just a beast. Some games he's really crap and uh, The rest is just good. No one's crap. Madison's pretty crap. I think now that I have 20k, since I can't buy Sanchez, I might get like a Mkhitaryan or something like that. But yeah, the team looks pretty good. And I actually played my last placement match for Divisional Rivals last night. So I will show you that gameplay now. Before we get into the gameplay though, I'm just showing you guys the team that I did use for it. I decided since it was the final game of the uh, qualifying, not qualifying, but um, placement matches, I could uh, whip out my Lone Walker, which we got at the very start of this series. And this is the opponent that we are playing against. He hasn't got a great team, terrible chemistry. So going in, I'm really feeling very confident. I'm using a 4-3-2-1 in this game. I thought I'd try it out, but I've since changed it because I didn't like it very much. Anyway, 16 minutes in, Felipe Anderson gets a lovely goal in his weak left foot there. Which I was obviously very happy about. But... I haven't cut anything out, so you guys probably already know what's going to happen. Uh, literally straight off kickoff, he passes it back a tiny bit, plays it to Burgoyne, Lanzini, to Rooney, plays it through the ball to right Phillips, and what is that? This is what I was saying about Schmeichel being inconsistent. If I say that later, I'm not sure. Might be spoiling something. But, <laughs> yeah, so annoying. Anything that's the worst goal I can see in this game? You're wrong. Climb whips it into Lanzini, of all people, who wins the header over my 6'5 giant volley. <laughs> Oh, so frustrating. I'm Maxi, I think that was actually. Anyway, though, Walker, my main man alone, smashes at top bins like a Zet like. And uh, we're back in the game at 2 all. Now it's the 88th minute. Look who it is again. Carl Walker. This time, my opponent's expecting the shot. So bring it to the super sub, Charlie Nolu, and Charlie smashes it. Top bins, 3 2. And that is exactly how the game finishes. We get a clutch W there. And we finish our rivals placement with three wins, two losses. 1,302 skill rating, Division 5, and we even get a cheeky achievement out of it. So as you guys can see, that we are in Division 5, and I played one game last night after I got into it, and I drew it, and I earned 390 weekly score and 26 foot champions points, which is really cool, because I, um, I know pretty much nothing about this, so I thought that you'd only get foot champs qualification points if you won the game. That's really cool that I got some for drawing the game. But uh, yeah, I think I am... Um, I need to do something with this 20k now. I think I'm going to buy a better Premier League cam. So uh, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just managed to pick up this Henrik Mkhitaryan for 16,750 coins. Which is a pretty good buy, I think. Because he's got 5-star weak foot, 4-star skills. Decent pace for a cam. Good shot power. Okay long shot and finishing for a cam. Good agility. And, uh, yeah, just all around a pretty decent card. And he's in the Premier League, so his price might go up uh, later into the full release. So I'm going to pop him in my score. We'll replace him for Madison here. You guys can see he's obviously better in every way. He's 9 overall better. So definite upgrade there. Just one non-rare left in my team. Matip. Hopefully he gets it in form this week. He might. He's got a goal against Southampton. So, uh, yeah, he might get in form. That'll be really cool. I'll definitely try to pick him up. If he does get on. So now that we have Mikatadian in the squad, I can go more in depth of how much his team actually cost me. So we got Casper Schmeichel for 4.2 thousand coins. 
Um, as I said before, I think that uh, he just isn't that consistent, but when he plays well, he's really, really good. So I'll keep him in net for now. I would like Allison eventually, though. At right back, we do have DeAndre Yedlin. You guys already know why. Just the pace is insane on this guy. Um, not many other stats, really. He's got good jumping and stamina and agility, which are also pretty good for a fullback. Uh, not really jumping, but like it's a nice little bonus thing to have, really. Not the greatest defending, but once again, he's just in there for the pace. At right centre back, we have Chris Smalling. We got him for 3.1k. I got um, I got Yedlin for 5.5k. If I didn't mention that, so Smalling is 3.1k, six foot four. You guys already know his stats: 87 strength, 74 sprint speed, decent defending. Uh, left centre back, we have Matip, who is a non-rare gold. He's six foot five, decent defending again. Not the greatest physicals, but still 80 strength is decent. Good passing for a centre back. Got over 750 coins. Left back, we've got my main man, Andrew Robertson. Andy Robbo, Robertson Carlos, whatever you want to call him. Um, he is amazing, obviously. Uh, 8.8k, 84 crossing, good defence, good pace. Uh, and he's Premier League left back, so that's, he's always going to cost more for being a Premier League left back. Because there are never that many options. At CDM, we have Ndidi, uh, 3.4 thousand coins, 4 star weak foot, 6 foot, 6 foot, he is just incredible, great stamina, good aggression, good strength, great jumping, good interceptions, defending, all that stuff. Not the worst passing, it's pretty bad, but it's not the worst, like from his cards, you wouldn't think it'd be that good, because he's crossing and free kicking, all that stuff is terrible, it brings down the short and long passing. Terrible dribbling, shooting, all that stuff, but that's not what he's in the squad to do. Right centre we've got Naby Keita for now, but this will probably be Milner or someone else I'll buy eventually. Uh, he's a lone player, so I won't go too much into him. Left centre we've got the Ander Herrera that we packed from a squad battles. If you guys didn't see that last episode, I definitely recommend you check that out. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. And he is a, just a decent box to box midfielder like he has been for the last few FIFAs. Uh, I know he's a man new player. I've got two of them in the team. It's pretty gross, but, you know, they're good players for <laughs> the start of FIFA to use. So, uh, I'm not complaining too much. Cam, we've got the Mikatani you guys just saw me pick up for 16.75k, as you can see. Right striker, we're using King, who I actually sniped accidentally for 1,000 coins. I bought one for 1.5, which is already sniped, because he's worth like 2.5 or something. And then after I sent him to club, it went back to like the transfer list of King, and there's one for a K. So I bought that, and then sold the other one, and made like 800 coins profit or so. It's 800 coins, sorry, 1,000 coins for this King is really decent. 4 star skills, only 3 star weak foot. Six foot tall, good pace, good finishing for a starter card, and then the rest of the stats are pretty average, but that's what you expect for spending that little coins this early on in FIFA, especially for a Premier League player. And at left striker, we actually have Felipe Anderson, who's got good long shots, great pace, great agility, and then uh, great dribbling all around, really, apart from reactions. But the rest of the stats are pretty lacking, but uh, it's so hard to find a good left-sided um, striker in the Prem. He's still right-footed, which is annoying, but like, the only left-footed strikers in the Prem I could find, I don't know if I'm forgetting about anyone, but uh, Lukaku and Sturridge. I already have Sturridge, he's not the greatest, and then Lukaku's like 240k. So, um, bit of a gap there. <laughs> a slight gap there, that's for sure. Anyway, though, Felipe Anderson is quite enjoyable so far. Only a goal and assist to show in four games, but he's been better than what the stats look. So that is my team, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get in to doing some advanced SBCs, or the early SBCs, whatever I can manage to do at this point. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by tackling the Hybrid Nations advanced SBCs. If we complete the whole thing, we get a rare Mega Pack. Inside it, we get a 25k pack, a 7.5k pack, 35k pack, and a 45k pack. I solved these on my main account, I made a video, if you guys are curious, but I'm going to do it even cheaper on this account. For the obvious reasons, really. I just sit with players in my club on the other account. But on this account, I'm going to do it much cheaper. So I've completed the first one. This is for the 25k players pack. Uh, I just need to get my Italian strike I just bought here, Pele. Remember him? I think he played for Southampton, I believe. Doesn't look like a very good card anymore. So this cost me, uh, let's go on the price, 450 750 He's first un untradeable, he's from a starters pack. 500, 450, 150, 350, 800, 500, 450. First owner untradeable. Got him from, I think, like the one rare player pack 
you got the start of the game or something like that. So all in all, that cost me 4,350 coins. So I'm guaranteed profit from a premium gold players pack. So let's open that up now. I believe this is the pack that on episode two I got Ander Herrera from in my squad battle rewards. So hopefully we can get another good pack, maybe even boards this time. It's boards. Come on, be huge. That's not going to be huge. Oh, is that? Oh, who's this? Savage. Okay, not what I was expecting. It's definitely not huge. <laughs> Not the uh, best first boards to ever get on an account, but it's a start, I guess. I had no idea who that was going to be, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking um, maybe that was the Moroccan flag for a second, but I knew it wasn't. Just because I knew it had to be something. But it was the Albanian flag, I want to say. Montenegro flag. Well, we do get a Morocco in this player, in this pack. How random is that? We do get the Marcos, though, who's actually a decent player. He might be worth some coins. Alright guys, so I had to sell Mikatarian and it took a while for him to sell, so I played a squad battle game um, while it's happening. So I have completed these six now. There you guys can see the solution. This is a pretty good one. Uh, I'll just go through the prices here. A few of them are first owner, which is awesome. So all up, that is 2,650 coins. It's only a 7.5k pack, but with that cheaper cost, I think we will make our money back. We didn't. On to the It Takes 8 SBC now, guys. As you can tell, my coin balance, this one cost a bit more. I tried for like 15 minutes to figure out how to do it in a good way. I ended up just using the Footbin SBC solutions for this one. Cause, um, I didn't have, like, I kept trying like different leagues. Like I had like a Bundesliga, like Nordvide, I think his name was, different nation. I tried doing that. And I, anyway, I just ended up using this. So it is a uh, pro league. Oops. It is a pro league uh, sort of system with one guy from the Ukrainian league over here. So you guys can see the price of everyone here. Uh, this one was definitely, definitely more expensive than all of the others, especially since there were three position changes, which cost me about three grand. I know I could have just done the no loss glitch, but I honestly just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend you guys do that for the three grand, but I was just too lazy. So, um... Yeah, this cost a total of 6,700 coins plus the three position changes, so about uh, 10,000 uh, coins in total. But we do get a prime gold players pack, so we should get that all back at least. We'll submit that, and now we can open it up. Okay, 45k pack. Come on, let's please get a boards from this, or if not, at least an expensive player. Come on, EA. Ah! Oh, that's not going to be good. Jarstein. Oh, that's so bad. There could still be like a Vardy or a Zaha, I guess, in this pack, but it's unlikely. That is so annoying. We get Taliska, who's decent. Nothing else really in that pack, though. That was really disappointing. Taliska is a good card, though. Could keep him as like a super sub or something, I guess. Oh, he's actually worth a bit of coins. Okay, I didn't realize Talisa's is actually worth like 3,000 coins. So that pack wasn't a total loss. I will list him up. Now on to the final SBC of this uh, certain advanced SBC thingamajing. So we just had to sell a few of the plays in my club uh, to finish off the last SBC. You guys already know about Mkhitaryan. I saw him to finish the previous two. So I've just sold these guys and quick sold a couple golds who were worth nothing. I also listed these two. Uh, you already know about Taliska. And uh, yeah, let's get the final one finished. All right, guys, so that is fully solved now. I'll just go through the prices of every one quickly. So that is a total of 8,200 coins for a mega pack. That is definitely worth it. Plus, we obviously also get a rare mega pack for completing all of the uh, group of SBCs there. So let's get these two bad boys opened. To make our money back from all of these SBCs that I've just done, I need to make about 20k from these packs. Plus, I haven't sold a lot of the players that I packed from the previous pack, so probably not actually that much. But 20k is definite uh, money back and profit um, from these packs. Okay, I'm hoping for one board from at least the one of these packs. Rare Mega Packs more likely, obviously. Okay, we do not get boards from the first pack, but is, we get a Telling Cams, we Vasquez. A2 rated, 
So, like the previous pack, there could be something in here still, but probably not. Alright, we get Grey, he might be worth something. And uh, Rudy, who we literally just using the SPC, I know he's worth nothing. Top pack is a decent card. He doesn't have 5 star weak foot anymore, I'm pretty sure he used to. Uh, we have a lot of players though, so that is a lot of coins just in itself. Because um, everyone has a value. Plus we get some kits, some position changes and consumables of all that type. So I think that pack, just looking at it, probably about 10k, I'd say. So uh, yeah, that's good. That's already halfway to making our money back. And this pack, we should get a board, as you'd think. So I think we're going to be uh, making profit in this video, guys. Come on, give us a board. Wow. Is just going to be... Oh, Florenzi! I think he's worth like 13k. Oh, that's a sick pull. Okay, that's actually really good. It's easy to forget that you can still get some plays worth something without getting boards early on in FIFA. Obviously, every player is rare. This whole pack's rare. We also get Balarabi. He might be worth something, but I'm not sure. Follette, always a decent card. He's like 93 strength or something. 91 strength. But that Florenzi pool is really nice. We also get a Duplicate King, which is pretty cool. I think I'll keep this King just so I have a first owner one, just for the fun of it, really. There we go. Then put him up there. So I'm going to sell uh, most of the things. I'll probably keep a couple items that I got from all these packs and these SPCs. And I'll be back with how much money we made. So I just played a couple squad battle games, guys. I finished my Monday games. I've still got my Tuesday games to go. But um, you guys can see that all my Russians are out of uh, contracts. So what I think, I was going to sell them and then buy them again like I did last time. But I, what, what I think I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm just going to sell them all. And then I'm going to buy some more Premier League players and just have them on the bench. So whenever like my Matip runs out of fitness, I can just bring in like a John Stones for a couple games and then bring Matip back when John Stones gets out of fitness. Or have like a Wilson up front. So I can put Wilson up front uh, instead of King or um, Philip Anderson when he gets tied. And then just have like four or five midfielders I rotate and then like a couple fullbacks. I think that would be a much better idea. Because so then I don't have to get used to two different teams and... Not formations, because it was the same formation, I'm pretty sure. But you guys know what I mean. I think that's the sensible thing to do. Um, so, yeah. Um, we have gotten 28,000 coins back so far. Uh, 29,500 coins back now from those SBC packs. So, Tillis could just sold for 4k on bid. That's really, really cool. Uh, Florenzi sold for 17.5k there. So, we'll clear these guys. So for 30k, I can buy a McTarion back, and then I've got like 14 or 15k to spend on just backup Premier League players. So that is what we're going to do, guys. I'll buy them, and I will be right back. So the rest of these guys all did just sell off. You can see the prices that they went for there. So about 6 or k or so from them. And you guys can see the top left, I do have 9,700 coins now. And that is because I have not only strengthened my starting 11 on my Premier League team, but I've also uh, deepened it. So I got Oxley chamberlain to replace my lone Navigator slash Milner. I got Mkhitaryan, but I think I already showed you guys that. Uh, Gray isn't actually my starting striker. King is, but I had him as a fitness guy. Uh, we got Bolly and Rudiger as my centre-backs now. Uh, Bolly, if you guys don't know, is 6 foot 5, 4 star weak foot, uh, 93 strength. Rudiger is uh, 5,200 coins. Um... 90 aggression, 80 strength, good defending, uh, and pretty fast for a centre-back in the Premier League. And then we got... Uh, got Megatarian for 15,500 on bid, as you guys can see there. Uh, my guys have games played on them, by the way. I just played some squad ball games on Legendary Difficulty. Um, we got Andre Gray in the pack, one of the squad uh, challenge packs. We got Chalanulu, uh earlier on, but we're still using him as a super sub. I love him so much at Cam, he's amazing. Van Anholt, my backup left back for 2.1k. And then we have Aurier for 3k as my backup right back. I was going to get Klein because they're not that different at cards. Or, or uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold because um, he's got a bit more pace. But I thought that with the player of the month being... The player of the month winner being Lucas Mora from Tottenham. I thought that Serge Aurier could back up, uh, not only be a good backup right back. But he also might end up being a good investment as he may be required in the SBC for Lucas as he is a teammate of him. 
So this is the squad we have now, guys. Really enjoying it. Uh, just playing some squad battles. And yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it for today's episode. I, I believe we got quite a bit done, including the advanced SBCs. I've recorded this over a day and a half or so, so I can't remember exactly what's in this. But I think we've done quite a bit. Next episode, guys, if you guys love gameplay, I will be try start trying to qualify for foot champions. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you want more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.